You are watching The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa. Sometimes the obvious questions can be the most profound. So what is excellent about your excellency? A few weeks ago, the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Jide Shomolu, announces or announced that he was dropping the appellation of excellency and should simply be addressed as Mr. Governor. A lot of people felt that he was just grandstanding, especially given the challenges that Lagos currently faces with traffic and failing roads. For me though, I thought it was an important symbolic step in our ongoing struggle to change the narrative of power and the African big man. Yes, it is symbolic, it's a symbolic gesture, but symbolism are very important. And it's even more important for us as we try to move away with this mindset of how corrosive respect um, and psychophancy makes us suppliant to abuse by our so-called elders and big men and politicians who fail to deliver, yet constantly expect reverence to their constituted authority. Some governors, ministers, even local government chairmen now take offense if you don't address them properly. The culture of reverence of, to power has to die. How much of an excellency are you when we're all living in the midst of obscene poverty and want? There's nothing excellent about the situation in Nigeria right now. For me, when they deliver excellent service, then perhaps we might consider addressing them as such. But for now, there's nothing excellent about some excellencies. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree with you. I, I feel like that title should be earned. You know, like as you first you start off as Mr. Governor or Mrs. Governor. Yeah. Or governess. Yes, that's how you start off. Then, you know, after maybe like a year and a half of you being, you know, in power, whatever you want to call it, they'll check your record, see whether you've at least even mm -hmm. reached 50% of what you said you were going to do. If you haven't done that, that excellency has to wait. It has to be, you know, it has to be something that you that will graduate. You don't right. just wake up and call yourself excellent. Yes, people just start calling you the, the number of people are calling yeah. excellent. Have you seen the caliber of people are calling excellent? Yeah, exactly. But look, right now, governor. there are only like three <laughs> your governors. Governor. That can be excellent. That governor is still grandstanding because I really think that <laughs> he hasn't done enough. Number With the posters and all the, pro yeah. I mean, everything that we I went through during his campaign, I think he should do more. I think he should do more. So that excellency <laughs> thing, that's up to him. But <laughs> look at all the people that we're calling excellency. There are only like about three governors right now that I'm... I, I would say, okay, let me even just give it to you. I would like to, to know who they are. Uh, Mackinde, the Oyo State governor, he's really, really doing different things. I don't know whether it's just, let's start, uh -huh. of, let's see let's how be it on goes. fire in Yeah, the let's see how it goes, yeah. I like that, you know, at least there's, there's encouragement. Let me even think of a second one. Certainly not my uh, state governor, the one in not feeling him. Doing Rufa. Rufa. is doing very well. Rufai is doing very well. Who? Really? Okay, well, I'm talking about that for a second. Okay, let's not go let's not, but let's just say that, you know, <laughs> it's something to be earned. Yeah, if we yeah. get to that stage where it's, it's something to be earned, <laughs> by that point, when people, you know, it's like this uh, Chief Tensi, whatever, uh -huh. it, it gets to the point, even the big men will even be doing, please don't give it to me, I'm too absolutely. big for that. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. As in, I'm, I'm already, too sophisticated for that. That's where that we want already. to get to. We're even getting there already. I mean, that's why you have people like... Uh, Someone who's still trying mister. to show us. Because in those days, okay. as soon as he became the governor and he's still mister, they would just tell him that, look, this is not good enough. Yeah. And he'll be given a chief to sit out. I yeah. think this thing is, you know, is, so, is symbolic. So, really, it's mm. what's in the name. No, no, there is no, a no, lot no, in no, the name in Nigeria. The truth is, because you see, have you truth, been to an truth. official function mm. and you spent 30 minutes just at naming all the excellencies? No, I understand. But you see, you can't divorce this thing from our culture. No, you can't. Do you understand? It's us. It's us. We have to Standing. Are we exceptional in the world? Are we, exceptional? Are we the Those only are the African? Kind of chief, chief Alaji doctor. There are no you chips know, in Ghana. Culture, it's not there are no chips in Ghana. But it's, it's us. Are no if we're going to change that narrative, yes, we should. But it should. I think take, we should change it. It's mm. not I mean, even just that. I think you the deliver, that deliver on the promise. Delivery. All the title yeah. means nothing. But you see, you see, someone, you see, someone who has gotten quite a bit of flack since he became governor. He's the pointing governor. Um, there's all sorts that have like been said it. about him, and I believe that the man finally realized that, look, if they're attacking me this much and all this, then all this excellency and all these big things, I don't think, they don't tie up. I mean, they don't add up, yeah. sorry. So maybe, maybe I should drop that mm -hmm. so that it might get them to quieten a bit. It can even be a PR move where, it is a PR just move. please, just allow me to do some work. Hold don't on. make too much fun of me, excellency, pointing governor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe that will calm us down. Yes. I do whatever, like I, whatever it is, you see, he also has the problem, I believe, of um, uh, how he got into power and mm. how Ambody was removed and how they're chasing Ambody up and down the place up till now. Mm. And that's not very good for his governorship. 
you know, even though he's not the one engineering it, but it's not good. It's, it's, it sort of takes us away from him. So I think the guy just wants to... Some peace and quiet. Yeah, and I think he's trying to sort of... Focus his energy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and focus I, himself to be... Oh, yes. I, I think let me, it's let a gimmick. Me, I don't I just think... It's, I let me whatever, point. even if it's a gimmick, but, I think it, it's good. But it's a needed gimmick. Yes. You know, like sometimes you have to make do these gestures just yes. so that people think you're doing something. Yes. No, I agree. It's okay, a needed but it's still a gimmick. this point, though. You know, when we look back to, you know, the Russian... I'm coming back to Russia again. The Russian communist movement. I mean, they're calling themselves comrades. Right. It didn't stop them from destroying, you know, animal farm kind of. So whether you call yourself, the main thing we're looking at is, has there been a change of heart? Know. You know, if, but I understand what you're saying. That Maybe there is. The, the, the excellency is more for us than even them, because if we can stop getting carried away by these people and see them yes. as our servants, yeah, exactly. then hopefully we can hold them more accountable. Uh -huh. We can walk up to him yes. and say, what are you doing That's about really my... Nice. You know, so it's more for our psyche. But if you think that somebody That's changing their name will change exactly. their agenda, I think you need to a, change their agenda. That's a very important point. Yes. Because, you know, how you name someone creates mm. might psychologically create mm. a distance mm. and how you approach that person. Because if you if someone has been crowned with your majesty, the imperial yeah. wash, the imperial power, honorable, your, your excellence, your it creates a distance. Correct. But if someone is a mister, yeah. a mister, you know, then you can psychologically it's like you. It's like you. Mm. Yes. He's not yes. a, a mortal. He's mm. not a god. Mm. He is just like you. And so that's why I find that Yes, it may be a gimmick, a gesture, mm -hmm. but it's an important yes, symbolic gesture oh, yeah. that I think that we need, we need in <laughs> right now. I mean, it, um, it, it goes, um, it goes with his, I think it's not, it, it shouldn't just be the governor. It should go all the way all down. The way. We should start no, calling our parents, you know, call uh, them by their name. Uh, uh, we should follow through. I think we should follow through. Why are you going to take it that <laughs> far? But we should follow through on the fact that he's, he's given us this inch by saying, call me mister. Mm. Now we should now step up to him like is intended and say, okay, Mr. Sondu, But it's approachable. What's going on? Yeah, no, but actually, guy. when I, when I think a, about it, his, his, uh, his slogan was about serving the people, Good. being the so, so when you make that connection, then it actually is... There's a connection. Yeah, there's there. a connection. It's better than a gimmick. So we should mm. follow so on. We should keep him accountable. I'm I, I opening think I, up I, what, access what, to me. What I just want to add is, you know, it's there are so many back-end stories that we never get to know the challenges, you know, this first time governors face, they can't come out and tell you, for instance, I met an empty coffer. No, they have, they've said it. You know, some of them, it's tough, mm. you know, and you still have to deliver. So you have to, like, you know, be a little gentle on those guys. Mm. The intention might be really good, the but you don't have... Waiting for them. Well, yeah. now the pension is I busted now because they are asking them to return return all the ones that are collected will uh, have to refund. Oh, refund oh, oh, I think that's we'll way too aggressive. That. I, don't yeah, that's, that's, I don't think that's yeah. a good, good, yeah. good But good I mean, yeah. I mean, still. That's a, people did something when it was legal. When it was legal. I mean, going forward... No, but no, that's what he's saying, that... They're asking them to reform, yeah, which yeah, is wrong. When they, when they drew from those funds, it was yes. legal. It was legal. Oh, I see. Yeah. So yeah. he's saying, let that go. Yeah. But subsequently, we should okay. you know, yeah. not yeah. encourage Okay, them. so, um, you know, let's do this. Um, <laughs> let's do what? Yeah, let's, let's move on. Let's move. Let's move. <laughs> we move. We move. We move. <laughs> so some heated debate. Um, I hope it was, that topic was excellent in my view. Uh, <laughs> but then again, we move. Um, if we're supposed to be living in a democracy, then let's make it work for us. So it's time to inject some accountability into our system. You can certainly hold us accountable by sending your comments. Here's when we read them out. On the failure of Nigerian leaders over the years, David Williams has this to say. As learned as these talking heads are, they miss the boat completely on this one. The key word is accountability. Funny, I think I just mentioned that word as well. <laughs> In real democracies, the government fails the people. If the government fails the people, they are voted out of office in the next election. Nigeria currently is not running a true democracy. You might agree with that a little, well, to some extent. Mm -hmm. Elections are rigged and the electorate. We suffer. Don't our suffer don't dabaru, uh, we suffer don't dabaru than their sense. Um, so it doesn't help matters when we receive money and gifts for our votes. Ostino King follows up by saying, hate speech is a government fight back against Nigerians as Nigerians fight their leaders of, for corruption and incompetence. If there are existing laws already, we do not need another commission to do the same job. Thanks. On injustice of women, or injustice to women in Nigeria, Karate Diamond says, I hope the advocate gets more views and impact it deserves in the society. There is need to sensitize the populace more. Great work. Thank you, Karate. This ginger you gave us is very much appreciated. On the social media and hate speech bill is an, is an example of overbearing governmental power, Alexander Anthony simply says. 
God bless you all for your good speech. God bless you too, Anthony. And keep watching. Do keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, Ekener is on a positive vibe and encourages us to kiss and make up. I think I need to do a lot more of that. Ekener ensures that you lead by example on this one, so we're, we're waiting for you on this. Thank you. <laughs>